And if I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean And if I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat And we could all together go out on the ocean Set me up on my pony and on my boat Hi everyone, it's Dr. Shepard and we are going to do another bowing exercise at Chocolate Point called Row the Boat and so we're still here at the riverfront and we've got this beautiful old boat next to us. So that is um, going to be my motivation to row a boat. It actually looks like you might have to row that one. So we're going to get back into our rocket position with our bow hold set with the two middle fingers on the first joint, the thumb tip next to the bump of the frog curved dropping our first finger on the winding on that second bone, and then the pinky tip curved on the inside ridge when we turn it over, it kind of goes to the top. So once we're in that rocket position, I'm going to get my chocolate point like before and come around the bow like this and bring it over to chocolate point. So when we're playing violin, last time we did rock the boat, right? Now we're going to row the boat don't really do this when we play. It's just kind of a way for us to get our bow parallel to the bridge. Sometimes it gets a little crooked. And when we start to play, I'm gonna ask you to make an X with the bridge, X with the bridge, and then equal sign with the bridge so that we're parallel this way. And when we move around the bow, we also wanna kind of row that bow a little bit just to feel, where's my tip, you know? Just trying to get a feel of that so that we don't always have to look at the bow so we can kind of gauge whether it's parallel to the bridge. And so that's my row of the boat exercise. Go out on the ocean, send me up on my pony, on my boat. Send me up on my pony.